Yeah, they've been incredible. Thank you to FEMA. We have a lot of FEMA people here, right over there. We've spent the last four years reversing the damage Biden has inflicted over the last 47 years with that ridiculous, dumb thought, NAFTA, TPP, and China's entry into the World Trade Organization, a disaster for our country. You know, China is considered a developing nation. I stopped that. China is considered a developing In other words, China, they're so wonderful, they're developing. Isn't that nice? Now, by being a developing nation, they get much more benefits than a nation that's not a developing. So I said, well, we're a developing nation, too, if they're a developing nation. And we just won, you know this, we just won seven and a half billion dollars from the World Trade Organization. Just won. And from the World Health Organization, I took us out. They said, why'd you do that? I said, number one, they were wrong on everything, although they corrected themselves today and they said I was right or the lockdowns. But I said, number two, why are we paying 500 million a year and China, which has 1.4 billion people, is paying 39 million a year? Explain that. They couldn't explain it. It was very hard to explain. So I took us out for that and other reasons, okay? So we'll see what happens with that. But these are the deals. I could go over hundreds of different things with you. And just common sense, I mean, common sense, what, what we do. Think of it, World Health Organization. We spend, we have 325 million people. We spend $500 million. China spends $39 million, and China dominates them. I said, does it work that way anymore? Does it work that way anymore? They'll take us back in so fast at much less money. For decades, our politicians spent trillions and trillions of dollars rebuilding foreign nations, fighting foreign wars, and defending foreign borders. But now we are finally protecting our nation, rebuilding our cities, and we are bringing our jobs and our factory and our troops back home to the USA. But those dismal days of betrayal, and that's what we were. We were betrayed by our own politicians, whether it was on purpose or that they were just plain stupid. We'll come back with unprecedented force if Washington Democrats are allowed to take control again. We can't let it happen. You have got to get out and vote. Sleepy Joe Biden, and it wasn't him, it's the people that control him, he's controlled totally, has put forward the most radical platform in American history, including a plan to eliminate U.S. borders. Oh, that's wonderful. Where's our border? We don't have one. Just come in, everybody. Come on in. Come on in, everybody. If you're a murderer, if you're a rapist, if you're very, very sick with a disease that can spread all over, just come on in. No. You know, we're up to almost 400 miles of wall. Nobody talks about that anymore. And we now have the tightest, safest border in our country's history. But we're up to almost 400 miles. It'll be finished very soon. And it's top of the line. It's exactly what Border Patrol wanted. But by implementing nationwide catch and release, imposing deadly sanctuary cities, Nationwide, nationwide, they want sanctuary cities. That's what they want. I don't even think, I'll tell you, I know a lot of people in California, they don't want sanctuary cities. It's like the politicians want it. I don't think the people want it. But they want to suspend all removals of illegals out of our country, whether they're murderers, rapists, thugs, bank robbers. They don't care. They want to suspend it. You almost say, where the hell are they coming from? Where does it even, where does the thought process come? It's demented. It would mean the total nullification of all U.S. borders, overwhelming every city and town in America, including this wonderful place that we all love very much. Under my leadership, we achieved the most secure border in U.S. history, and we're finishing that wall. It's going to be finished and so beautiful. Wait till you see that. Wait till you see that. A few more months. We're doing 10 miles a day. And by the way, Mexico is paying. They hate to say it. Mexico is paying for it. 
And Mexico has been great. You know, Mexico has 27,000 of their soldiers on our border. And I said, you have to do that. Otherwise, we're going to have to charge you tariffs because we're not going to stand for it when people are pouring into our — and we have the worst laws because Congress over the years has made it so weak. If you're a soldier and you talk rudely to somebody, they end up giving you the electric chair, okay? It's so horrible. Mexico has been great. 27,000 soldiers we have. See, 27. Now, the electric chair comment, they'll put that — he's exaggerating. He shouldn't do that. They are sick people. But it is true. We have 27,000 Mexican soldiers guarding our border. And you know what? They don't play games. They don't let them through. And if they do let them through, we get very angry with Mexico. So Mexico has been great. The president of Mexico has been great. We're putting a border tax on for cars and trucks to go across. It'll much more than pay for our wall starting soon. Remember when the old days we used to say, we'll build the wall, everybody thought there was no way. You know, it's one of the largest projects in the history of our country, because you're talking about a lot of miles. 540 miles, and then we may even add some more into other areas where you probably, you know, you have natural barriers like mountains and rivers and a lot of other pretty tough areas. But we may even add some more. We're doing so great with it. Ten miles a day, and I want to thank the Army Corps of Engineers. You've been incredible. Some of them are here. They're very proud people. One thing with the Army Corps, they may build it a little expensive, but you can't rip that sucker down. It never comes down. That'll never come down. We ended the catch and release ridiculous program where you catch somebody, you take their name, and then you release them, and you say, come back in three years to a court case. And nobody ever comes back, except for the really dumb ones, they come back on occasion. But nobody ever comes back. They're in our country, and they could be murderers, and they could be all sorts of problems, and uh, we're not having that. We ended it. We stopped asylum fraud, and we've deported 20,000 gang members, including MS-13. Brought them back to their country. We brought them back to their country. We've now deported over half a million criminal illegal aliens. Think of that. Think of that. And outside of poorly run Democrat states and cities, you don't have crime in this country. This country, our country is doing fantastically. And I call up governors in Portland, and I call up from the state, and I call up the governor as an example, Oregon. I say, we'd love to send some people to help you out with Oregon and to help you out with Portland. We'll solve the problem in a half an hour, like we did in Minnesota with Minneapolis. We'll solve the problem quickly. Remember, Minneapolis was burning down day after day, and I'd call, let us come in, let us come in. Anyway, they finally came in. How long did it take? About a half an hour. Remember the beautiful scene? They lined up. They weren't socially distanced, but that's okay. They lined up, then another line, another line. Then they just walked forward, and that was the end of that. And I think we're going to win the state of Minnesota because of it, I think. Hasn't been won since 1972, but it's looking like we're going to win Minnesota because of it, because nobody, I mean, what they did. But I give the governor credit, at least even though it was too long, he let us. In Oregon, we have to send in the troops. We will solve that problem in 30 minutes. We sent in the U.S. Marshals. Recently, when the man, this horrible human being, shot somebody and killed him in the middle of the street, Two days went by, three days went by. I said, why hasn't he been arrested? We sent in the U.S. Marshals. In 15 minutes, it was all over. 15 minutes. It'd be so easy to do. I mean, can you imagine these people? For years and years, it's been, uh, it's been anarchy in Portland. For years and years.